Hey everyone, how's it going? We're going to be running a test today to see how much difference there is between driving at 70 miles an hour and driving at 60 miles an hour. See how that affects battery consumption and overall range. So in order to minimize the impact of slower roads on this test, we're going to use a car park that's quite close to the A19 um, as our kind of staging area and for me to do little bits of filming of the, the dashboard and talking to you guys in between, in between each test. So we're going to take a drive now over to the starting point. Uh, once you get there, I will film the current state of charge and uh, reset the trip counter so you can see how we're getting on. And we'll take it from there and I guess we'll uh, we'll see what results we get. Okay, right, so we're at the starting point. We've got 82% in the battery and 132 miles on the gone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reset our trip counter. And we'll also go and reset the drive computer one as well. Right, okay, so that's us all reset. Let's go do uh, the first round trip at 70 with ProPilot on and we'll see how we get going. Okay, so we've done the first leg. We've traveled 17 miles and we've dropped down to 65% on the battery. Uh, what I'll do is at the end, I'll total this up and we'll figure out exactly what kind of benefits we saw by driving at the slower speeds. Um, right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do uh, the same trip, but at 60 miles now with ProPilot on. Uh, before we do it, however, we're gonna reset that. And we're gonna reset this. Okay, right, let's go. So at the end of that run at 60 miles now, we've got 52% left in the battery and we traveled 17 miles. Uh, there was one bit where we had to speed up a little bit because it wasn't safe overtaking on a two lane A road at 60 miles an hour. Um, so we did have to speed up to 70 briefly, but overall we kept it at 60. Uh, if we just have a look at the drive computer, we'll see that our average speed was 41 miles an hour. Um, and it took us about 24 minutes, 25 minutes. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, whack these numbers into a spreadsheet and we'll figure out what is the better option. Okay, so the first test we ran, we did 70 miles an hour with ProPilot on. We started with 82% battery and we ended up with 65% battery. We traveled 17 miles and we consumed 17% of the battery. Um, with, at 60 miles an hour with ProPilot on, we started with 65% of the battery. We ended up with 52. Um, it's a difference of 13% for 17 miles. Now, you could, in theory, stretch this out and say, okay, well, 17 miles, 17%, that's 1% per mile. I don't think that stretches because, firstly, I've seen better than that. Um, I think the reason for that is to ensure that I was doing the same journey over and over again, I was doing a loop. Uh, it means I was going down the A road and then I was coming back. So I was going down about nine miles and coming back about nine miles. Um, what that means is, 
for each journey, I did two accelerations from pretty much zero to 70 miles an hour, which obviously massively ate into the range. Um, so you wouldn't normally do that every nine miles on a long motorway trip. That's just crazy. And that's why we're seeing these lower percentages. But what we can see from this is 4% less battery consumption just on that short little test um, by traveling just 10 miles an hour slower. So I think, yeah, if we were to do a longer range journey, we would definitely get a lot farther. Um, obviously, next time I have a big journey coming up, I'll, I'll try driving it at 60 and we'll see if, see if it does make a difference. Um, one thing we'll test in an upcoming video as well is we'll see whether turning off ProPilot makes any difference to this. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you did like it, please remember to hit that like button. If you didn't, there's another button around somewhere. Um, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you want to get notifications when I post new videos. Um, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.